Hello guys, welcome to Technology. Uh, this is Ramesh. Uh, in my previous video, uh, we have discussed about how to install Eclipse for above development tools. Okay. In my previous video, we have discussed uh, how to install above development tools like ADT from uh, SAP development tools okay today today we are going to discussing about how to add above system to eclipse platform it is nothing but a gui okay uh, in general okay if, if i want to connect with my backend sap system we need to have a front end gui right that is a gui interface okay here instead of using gui okay we we can add we can add SAP backend development system to my Eclipse platform. Now, here we have a two types of options as the SAP provide two types of on uh, two types of above systems or like SAP systems, okay, backend systems uh, in the two environments like on premise systems and on cloud system. Okay, in this Eclipse. Okay, uh, we can add both on premise as well as on cloud systems, SAP on premise and SAP on cloud systems, uh, development systems we can add and we can work on through Eclipse, Eclipse platform. Okay, uh, let's go to the next slide. Uh, SAP deployment options, okay. SAP provide uh, mainly three types of uh, deployment options. Uh, provide from SAP as recent after introducing S4 HANA. Okay, there are SAP on premise edition and uh, another one is SAP on cloud edition as well as SAP hybrid edition, which is nothing but a combination of uh, SAP on premise and uh, cloud edition. Okay, now you can if you want to work or if you want to as an upper, okay. Uh, my requirement is I would like to connect my backend SAP development system. Okay, I need to develop some programs or I need to develop some objects with using Eclipse platform. Now, uh, then we need to connect my backend SAP development system to Eclipse. Then I have to write some logic in with using Eclipse platform above development tools. Then you can deploy. Okay, this is the concept of SAP deployment option. Okay, uh, uh, in recent we have a three different types of customers we can see. Okay, those are uh, SAP on premise on premise customers, SAP on cloud customers, as well as SAP hybrid customers. Okay, SAP hybrid customers is nothing but uh, it's a combination of SAP on premise as well as SAP on cloud systems okay uh, some of the customers are using some a part of uh, operation with using SAP on premise and uh, some critical part of operations with using some uh, on cloud systems those called those customers we can consider as SAP hybrid customers okay uh, in my in my previous customers okay uh, i can find sap on premise customers uh, as well as i uh, sap cloud customers uh, i have worked earlier okay now uh, let us discuss how to uh, configure or how to set up sap backend development system to my eclipse software or eclipse platform okay then go to Eclipse. Okay, here uh, after successful installation of my above development tool or above prospect view, it is displaying like here. Okay, if uh, if you want to add a backend system to this Eclipse platform, you should select the above prospect view from here. You should enable like you should. It should always select with above prospect or it should open with above prospect how we can okay, how we can add as discussed earlier video okay we can with the help of prospective 
you can add above prospect here okay you can select okay and here we are in above prospective okay from here uh, sap uh, from here we can add by backend above development system is nothing but sap development client okay you can add if you want to develop some programs we need to have we need to add the backend system into this eclipse above development prospective okay here we have an option called first of all uh, in my backend system is sap on premise system okay like uh, like one of my customer is using sap on premise system okay uh, now i want to work with eclipse by adding my backend system to this eclipse platform okay first of all we need to add my backend development system to eclipse platform with using we have a multiple options okay option number one is we can add file new and above project above project is a nothing but it's a backend above development system don't confuse again confuse about above project okay this is a nothing but a backend instance of your development system as well as you can add in the same path you can add above cloud project also which is nothing but sap backend back in cloud instance above the cloud project is nothing but back in sap cloud instance above project is nothing but back in sap on premise development system okay so for my requirement i would like to add my back in sap on premise development system to eclipse okay either uh, okay i am using the first method okay file new and above project it is nothing but above on premise system okay click on f8 uh, actually here we are getting some warning kind of thing okay which is no problem okay uh, why it is coming like this currently i am using the sap old version like uh, sap launchpad gui system is uh, 7.30 okay uh, so if you are using above 7.30 like 7.40 7.50 gui versions then it automatically open the gui system okay now i am using the old version of sap gui that's why we need to add the system credentials like the system launchpad details with manually okay now here uh, I am selecting customer application server from this list window okay and system id is nothing but your backend system id okay now sorry your backend system id uh, i am choosing one of my customer okay my system id is this one okay and an application server is I am copying the application server and paste here and the instance number is 00. If you have any uh, router string kind of things you can add here. Okay, I am adding system id, application server and instance number. You should select from the connection type is customer application server. Okay, then click on next. Here it is asked, asking the client information. Okay, now my above client is which is nothing but my client number is a 200 enter your username okay i am enter i am uh, providing my username and password also required okay i am entering my password and the language also okay mandatory that is a common language called english okay. now click on next Now, okay, you want to change your system name or system credential uh, like your backend system, you can change here. Like my requirement is uh, my client name, okay, and the client number, like my client name, development system, and client number, 
okay just this is my project name nothing but a backend system uh, formally okay click on finish now it is adding left side your uh, backend system got added here okay just expand here okay here you can find your package okay. then you can start development here okay you want to uh, from here okay you can call this your gui also open gui then it will open your gui okay the gui got a problem something uh, getting some problem no problem okay you can start developing by adding after adding your backend development system you can start developing here in local object is there if you have if you have if you want to store or if you want to start any fabric packages you can right click and create or add your fabric package here then you can start developing okay this is the first method of adding backend development system to this eclipse platform okay uh, if you want to remove or if you want to delete this back, uh, development system from this eclipse just click on right click and here we have an option called delete okay don't worry about this it will delete from this your eclipse of eclipse platform only okay select this one and click delete yes uh, the backend SAP development system got removed from this Eclipse platform. Okay, now this is a path for adding. Okay, this is a path for adding uh, SAP on premise edition or on premise system to my Eclipse platform. File new above project. And uh, if you want to add any cloud edition or cloud platform, cloud software. Uh, cloud instance okay that is the same path okay file new above cloud add above cloud project okay project is nothing but a backend instance okay don't confuse about this the project is nothing but your backend instance or development system i am showing one more one more option is here we have a directly uh, option called create an above project you can directly click here click on ok and select the customer application server don't forget this option select the connection type is a customer application server okay pass your system credentials like launchpad credentials okay no no uh, these are nothing but a launchpad properties and the, and my application server is okay application server instance number is double zero now click on next okay if you want to add another client you can change here okay in my development system uh, as per my client i have a two development systems one is a above development another one is another client is for development testing okay now uh, with using this above platform i uh, i would uh, i would like to work on above object so I am adding above client along with my credentials. Okay, pass the next. Enter the password and click on next. Okay, if you want to change your system name, you can change here. This is the for identification purpose. Okay, I am entering my client name and the system is nothing but development system. And my client is a 200. This is identification purpose only. Click on finish. Okay, here added my system. Okay, you can write start programming from here. You can add above class, above package, any other above repositories like uh, core data services. Okay, okay. These are the core data services, CDS, CDS programming or any about dictionary kind of objects or programs you can you can uh, write here. Okay. Now we have a, an, uh, another option is called 
here we have a plus button is there okay plus new button is there click on here we have an option called add above project add above cloud project okay this is a third option you can add eclipse you can add sap backend system development system to this eclipse environment now as of now we have a discussion how to add uh, sap on premise development system to my eclipse environment now okay uh, the next topic is how to add sap on cloud edition to this eclipse software okay now uh, as of now okay i don't have any cloud systems okay any cloud customers so if you want to add any cloud system to this eclipse okay we need to have some cloud uh, sap cloud account or cloud system right if you want to add any cloud development system we need to have a cloud development system in backend right so as per my requirement as of now okay i don't have any above cloud project or any above cloud uh, uh, systems so here uh, we have a one more option called sap provide some cloud account along with cloud instance for uh, demonstration purpose or practice purpose so so if you want to add cloud system here first of all we need to create or we need to get the cloud instance cloud above system from the sap from the sap so in my next video you can follow okay how to create sap account how to get the sap on cloud above system or above instance then how to add on cloud sap above instance to eclipse how it how how to work on uh, above cloud systems with using this eclipse platform okay see you in next next video how to get the sap on cloud access and on cloud instance how to add on cloud instance to eclipse platform thank you